Welcome to part two of the Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 R3 demo on product change. Let's get started. Last time in part one, we showed you how to associate products, release products, bill of materials, and routes to a product change case all from one screen. In part two, we'll show you how to associate products, release products, bill of materials, and routes to a product change case individually. To individually associate products and release products with a product change case, we'll start by selecting our M0007 MK2 products and release products and associate them with the case. Select the case ID that we created at the beginning of this demonstration and press OK. Now we'll demonstrate how to associate bills of materials with a product change case. The Where Used form shows all BOMs and release products that are affected by the change. Select View Details to open the Release Product Details form. Now let's walk through how to associate routes with a product change case. Now let's demonstrate how to approve and activate changes. In the left navigation pane, select All Cases. This Bills of Materials version uses the old BOM. So in the Action field, we'll select Expire. Now let's do the same for the new route. Let's scroll through the info log. No issues are shown in the info log and the requested changes have taken effect. <laughs> 